Once again, I welcome you to the Chidons Academy. Hope you are having a wonderful day. And we want you to put Daniel. This morning, we'll be discussing complex number. It's a very simple topic. Complex number, you may ask, what does it mean? It simply means a number that consists of two numbers. One, the real number, and two, the imaginary number. It's presented as z equal to x plus y r. Where this x is the real number, and the y i is the imaginary number. This imaginary number, you may ask, what does it mean? Does it mean that the numbers can be imaginary or what? Look at what it means. When you have x squared equal to minus 1, x automatically will be equal to square root of minus 1. If you press square root of minus 1 in your calculator, you will see that what it will give you is what? I. That is, imaginary number. It means that this number is imaginary. We don't have it as a real number. Now, this complex number we are discussing has a conjugate. Conjugate simply means opposite. So, this complex number, the conjugate of it is noted as this, and it simply means go to the sign that is in between the real and imaginary and change it to opposite of it. The sign here is plus. The conjugate of it will have to be changed to minus to give you this. This is conjugate of this real, of this complex number. Now, this complex number has modules. Modules of a complex number, modules of complex number is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. This x is from this, this y is from this. Example, given that z equal to 3 minus 4 i, this will be your x, this will be your y. It means that mode of the complex number will be equal to square root of 3 squared plus minus 4 squared. And that will give you 5. Now, let's see some questions for some time and see how we can solve it. Find the modulus and polar form of i raised to the power of 2, 5, 2, 3. i raised to the power of 2, 5, 2, 3. Remember that complex number i is noted as square root of minus 1. So, i raised to the power of 2, 5, 2, 3 implies that you just say square root of minus 1 times square root of minus 1 times square root of minus 1 into 2,523. And you see, it will be so stressful and you will not finish it very fast. So, what you do is that you call it I raise the power of n and see this shortcut. I raise the power of n, I raise the power of n equals to 1 minus 1 i minus i when n is even number and it is divisible by 4. When n is even number and it is not divisible by 4. When n is odd number and it, and n minus 1 is divisible by 4. 
when n is odd number and n minus 1 is not divisible by 4. So, we ask ourselves, 2, 5, 2, 3, are you a, an even number or an odd number? Check this number because the last digit is 3, an odd number. We said that 2, 5, 2, 3 is an odd number. So, it means that it falls in these categories. Then we now ask ourselves, if 2, 5, 2, 3 minus 1, what will it give you? 2, 5, 2, 2. Divided by 4. You say not divisible. Not divisible by 4. Therefore, I raise power 2, 5, 2, 3 will be giving you when it's not divisible, it's minus i, so minus i. Now, back to the question, the modulus of modulus of i raised to the power of 2, 5, 2, 3 is equal to modulus of minus i. Now, how can we get modulus of minus i? Simply say, what is the coefficient of i? It will be minus 1. That minus 1, what is the positive of minus 1? It will be 1. The positive of minus 1 is 1. Therefore, modulus of minus i is 1. Because the positive of minus 1 is 1. Simple. Now, to get the polar form of this complex number, remember this Demofres theorem that says z raised to the power of z equals to r cos r cos cos theta plus 2 pi k plus i sine theta plus 2 pi k. Then, we have this theta p is called the principal argument. Theta p equal to principal argument. And k ranges from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Now, what is the principal argument of i? What is the principal argument of this minus i that we are solving? Principal argument of minus i we are solving is simply minus pi over 2. That is the shortcut to that. Why? It is noted that when this imaginary part is negative, whether it is negative 2, negative 3, negative 1 million, anything, as far as it is negative, the principal argument of it will be minus pi over 2. But if it is positive, the principal argument will be pi over 2. Note it. So, since our own uh, complex number is minus i, since it's negative, we say that principal argument is minus pi over 2. Then, we put it in a polar form. And also, you also say that your r, since this uh, principal, since this complex number is minus i, the implication is that r, which is the modulus, is 1. We have gotten it before now, 1. So, you put it into this formula. It will be giving you that the polar form of it is z equal to 1 bracket cos pi over 2 plus 2 pi k plus i sine plus i sine minus 5 over 
2 plus 2 pi k. Now, say when k is equal to 0, put 0 into, if 0 is here, 0 times pi, 0 times 2, 0. So we'll be having cos minus pi over 2 plus minus pi over 2 because here is 0, here is 0. But note that in trigonometry, that cos negative angle is equal to positive. So because of that, we say that z equal to cos pi over 2. Then, but sine negative angle will remain negative because this sine won't uh, swallow this minus. So it will remain negative. It will become minus i sine pi over 2. Let's go to the second question. So this is the polar form of the complex number that is polar form of a raised power 2, 5, 2, 10. Answer. We go to the second question. Find the modulus and polar form of I raised power 7,500. We change here to be 7,500. Hope we understood this so I can clean. Yes. Okay, I raised power 7,500. Your n is 7,500. 7,500, you ask, is it an even number or odd number? It's an even number. So, you check, can 7,500 be divisible by 4 as the rule of even number C? Yes, divisible. Divisible by 4. So, because it's divisible by 4, you say that it will be automatically be 1, not i. So, 7,500, therefore, i raised to the power of 7,500 is equal to 1. Then, we go to the uh, modulus of it. So, modulus, modulus of I raised to the power of 7500 is equal to modulus of 1. That is, now, since I, I raised to the power of 7500 is 1, the implication is that modulus of 1, since this is 1 and is positive, the modulus of it must be positive. Modulus equal to one, because since it's already positive, it will remain positive. Now, to get it in polar form, we remember our formula Z equal to R bracket cos theta P plus 2 pi K plus I sine theta P plus 2 pi K. We are R equal to modulus, then theta P equal to principal argument. So our R is equal to 1 for the modulus we got, then the principal argument will be equal to the principal argument of um, complex number when it is 1 when it is 1. The implication is that when a complex number is equal to 1, that is, when a complex number do not have imaginary part, whether that number, whether that real number it has is positive or negative, theta p will be equal to pi. If it is z equal to minus 1, also theta p will be equal to pi. Or 180 degree or 180 degree. So, since we are talking about z equal to 1, 
we can say that our theta p principal argument is pi. So we go with that. Then we now say to put it in polar form. So our theta p is equal to pi. To put it in polar form, our r is equal to 1. Our theta p is equal to pi 2 pi k plus i sine pi plus 2 pi k. Where your k ranges from 0, 1, 2, and so on. Now, you say when k is 0, when k is 0, you will be having 0 times is 0 times is 0, you will be having cos pi. 0 times is 0 times is 0, you have having sine pi. So it will be giving you cos pi plus i sine pi. You say also, when k equal to 1, if you want to get other values of, other polar form of it, when k equal to 1, it will imply 1 times is 2 pi plus this 3 pi, so cos 3 pi plus i sine 3 pi. And that is how you can also get when k is 2, Let's go to three. two questions. First, find the second argument of group root of 27i. Now, for you to solve this, write complex number z is equal to 27i. Group root means raised to the power of 1 over 3. Now, Remember the Moffrey's theory. In that the Moffrey's theory, 7 raised to the power of n is equal to r raised to the power of n bracket cos n cos theta cos n bracket theta p plus 2 pi k then plus i sine n bracket theta p plus 2 pi k, where theta p is called the principal argument, principal argument, and that is when k equals to 0, and k ranges from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. This principal argument you just said simply means the first value of theta in a given complex number. Yes. Then when you now get when k is 1, 2, and 3, you are getting other arguments in a given complex number. Then this is a typical polar form of it. Now, what, how can we get our r and how can we get our theta p? You ask yourself, this is 27i. Does it have three parts? No. Because it does not have three parts, you say that theta p will automatically be pi over 2. If they ask you why, you say it's because it does not have three parts. But if here is minus 27i, the theta p will be equal to minus pi over 2. If they ask you why, you say it's because this imaginary part is negative and it does not have three parts. But the one they ask us, is the one of uh, uh, imaginary part that is positive. So we go with theta p equal to pi over 2. Then, since it does not have uh, real parts, and we, this i have a coefficient, which is 27, we said that our r will automatically be 27. So we put it into this formula, noting that our n is equal to 1 over 3. We put it into this formula. It will give you. 27 raised to the power 1 over 3 bracket cos 1 over 3 bracket pi over 2 plus 2 pi k then plus i sine 1 over 3 bracket 
pi over 2 plus 2 pi k. Now you now say 27 raised to the power 1 over 3 automatically will give you 3. Now what you say when k equal to 0, as I said, it will give you the principal argument in polar form. Let's see what will happen. K 0, 0 times is 0 times is 0, it will give you pi over 2. Okay, it will give you pi cos pi over 2 divided by 3. Then this will give you plus i psi pi over 2 divided by 3. So, the implication now is that when k is 0, the polar form of this will finally be 3 bracket cos pi over 6 plus i sin pi over 6. So, this is the first argument, first argument in polar form. In polar form. This first argument in polar form can be called principal argument in polar form. Since that is when k is 0. Now, when k is 1, we will be getting the second argument and see how you get it. Put 1 here. 1 times this, 1 uh, pi times this, 2 pi. So you will be having. You'll be having three bracket cos pi pi over two plus two pi all over three plus i sine pi over two plus two pi all over 3. So, that finally will give you 3 cos 5 pi over 6 plus i sine 5 pi over 6. So, this is the answer. This is the answer for the second argument of this given complex number in polar form. We go to the next question. The next question says find the polar form of Z equals to this. So, what you now say is that you apply the Morpheus theorem which says z raised to power of n equal to r raised to power of n bracket cos n bracket theta p plus 2 pi k plus i sine n bracket theta p plus 2 pi k. Now, your r will be equal to modulus of this complex number. Remember we are solving z equals to root 3 minus i or raised to the power of 6. And this modulus is square root of x squared plus y squared. And that will give you square root of. So this is your x and this is your y. That is x equal to root 3 y equal to minus 1, that is coefficient of r. So, it will give you square root of 3, all squared, plus minus 1, all squared, equal to square root of 4, equal to 2. Then, when you are asked to get the principal argument, which is theta p, here, it has both three parts and imaginary parts. What you now do is that, remember this quadrat. This quadrat said, if it's located in the first quadrat, first quadrat, we say our PA 
fresco argument will be what the right theta. But if it's located in the second quadrant, our PA will be equal to 180 minus right theta. And if it's located in the top quadrant, you say PA equal to minus bracket 180 minus right theta. Then if it is located here, the fourth quadrant, you say PA equal to minus ref theta. Now how do you get your ref theta? I say ref theta equals to tan inverse of y over x in modulus. Then from the question, our y is minus 1 and our s is this. You say ref theta equals to tan inverse of 1 over root 3. Now, tan inverse of this gives you 30 degrees. Now, this answer you got 30 degrees to principal argument. Now, see what you now do. Since our S is positive, here is positive. Our Y is negative, here is negative. It means that our PA is equal to rest minus ref theta. Minus ref theta. So the implication of it now is that our principal argument will be equal to minus 30 degree or to pi to radians, you multiply minus 30 pi over 180 equal to minus pi over 6. Right? Yes. So this is the principal argument of this. Now, you put it in polar form now. You say 2, which is your r, raised to the power of 6, because our n is 6, bracket cos theta p is minus pi over 6 plus 2 pi k, then plus i sine minus 5 over 6 plus uh, 2 pi k. Remember, our k ranges from 0, 1, 2, and so on. So you say, this will give you 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, 64. This will give you 64. Remember that you have to put the c's here because n is here. Put another C is here because of this N. Okay? This so 4 bracket cos 6 bracket minus pi over 6 plus 2 pi k plus i sine 6 bracket minus pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. So that tells you that when k is equal to 0, you'll be getting the principal argument in polar form. And that will give you 64 bracket 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 0. Cos 6 bracket minus pi over 6. Then plus i sine 6 bracket minus pi over 6. This will cancel this. This will cancel this. Now remember that when cos half the angle in cos half is negative. The cos will swallow it. It will give you 64 cos pi, then plus i sine what? Now, for the sine, this negative cannot, uh, this sine cannot swallow this negative. It will retain its sine minus sine pi. That is the principal argument of the complex number in polar form. Principal argument in polar form. So, when k equal to 1, put 1 here, 1 times 2 pi, so it will be giving you 6 times 2 pi, 12 pi minus this. So, we'll be having 64 bracket cos 6 bracket 11 pi all over 6 
then math plus plus i sine 6 brackets when one when k is 1 2 uh, pi times 2 pi so 6 times 2 pi 12 pi minus pi okay 11 pi all over 6 this you cancel this this you cancel this so automatically the second argument will become 64 bracket cos 11 pi plus i sine 11 pi so that is your answer for the second argument thank you for watching the video please like the video subscribe and comment share with your well wishers thank you